What's up everyone, it's Unchained here for the last part of my DuckTales Let's Play. Yeah, last video was kinda quiet, mostly because there was just so much talking. But now, we're coming right out of the pause menu and straight into Mount Vesuvius, and let's, let me just get my stuff all ready to go. Alright, let's do it. I'm not sure if there's money on this stage, because I, I mean, I don't know if you can actually still spend your money in a new game, like if there's a new game plus or something. I'm not sure how that's set up. Okay, how am I supposed to get this? Is there like... Okay, I keep doing that by accident. Whoops. I'm trying to see if there's like a hidden chest or something. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'm not going to worry about it. I was curious, though. Alright, let's head up this way. Bats are back. Bats are back. Oh my god. I was going to I was gonna say, this game does need some sort of lava stage. It's got... It's pretty much had everything else. It had snow, jungle mansion it's got a little bit of everything well it does need a water stage too although i hate water stages in games period but if you want to go through all the elements then you need water okay i have no idea how i'm supposed to be getting that it's like some hidden move that i'm unaware of like some hidden maneuver where you like double pogo in the air i don't know well i'm not even gonna try it it could be could just be a trap like ha ha let's make the players feel like imbeciles while they start falling into spikes or just into these skeleton ducks. Whoa. It's hard to train these bats out. Okay, I'm, I guess I could have possibly gotten on there from jumping on that little block, but I'm not really sure. Whatever. I don't care about chests. I don't care. I just care about survival. Woo! Oh, God. So many spikes. Okay, found a little hidden thing up here. Sweet. I was going to check them all regardless. They're all sticking out of the ceiling, so you always have to check just to be certain. Okay, so there's still money, and... Yeah, if I hit start, does it show me my money? What does hitting the back button do? Nothing. Or the, uh, minus button, whatever. Just wanted to see if it, like, recorded my money. I wasn't sure if everything gets kind of lost since they forced you to go right into this stage. Okay. Luckily, there really hasn't been any impossible jumps yet. It's mostly just a lot of enemies on screen and spikes. Oh, shut up. You could be helping. Alright, Glamgold. Time is money. Of course I will. I guess he's just gonna sit there. That's fine. Boom. Jump into the lava. Jump. Mm, this is, everything is so pretty and yellow. Okay, just keep on jumping forward. Just keep holding forward. I'm gonna hit the pogo button. Pogo button. Alright, we're safe. That wasn't that bad. Luckily, the enemies don't... You have to time or, any, time or anything. They just kind of come right up. Oh, this is so cool. I love when games do this. It's like this really weird, like, transparent lighting. I'm not really transparent. It's more of like a... It's like a negative. Oh, he's in the background. That's cool. How do I get up there? Is there any point to get up there? All right, let's try it. I'll wait. If I screw up one more time, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, when the pogo didn't work. That's not my fault. It doesn't count. All right, there we go. Just want to see if there's anything up here. Money. And... A chest. I was gonna say even in death, but I have a lot more hearts left. Boom! I'm getting better at figuring out how to get rid of those bats. Okay, I see how to get to that chest. I just gotta get to the other side here. Let's train the bat, train the bat. Run into a wall, Mr. Bat. Okay, there we go. Boom. Got some money, sweet. Oh, did I just kill him for good? I might have, I don't know. I don't know if you could. Oh, he's actually helping in this room? This is cool. I'm not going up there just yet, Glam Gold. I'm gonna make you be my bitch for 10 seconds while I collect that diamond. Mmm, there we go. See, it's funny when you play a game like Mega Man and then start playing this, because it's like, these spikes would kill you in one hit in Mega Man. In this game, you could just kind of poker your way around it. Oh, God. Okay, are they gonna start throwing those things over and over? I hope not. I, I keep missing the drop-off. There we go. Oh, I'm actually kind of happy I made that mistake. Okay, uh, okay, okay, good. I wasn't sure if you were allowed to touch that or not. All right, seems like they only put one at you, so it's not too bad. Yay, got the cake. I didn't really need it. I sort of needed it. Just what's in here? All right, nothing. You could still kind of see if there's those breakable blocks or not. Just, just being sure. Making sure I find everything. 
Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to ride the boulder. Well, no, we don't even have to do that because we can just go right on the spikes. Boom. You're barely helping, Glamgold. You're just spawning somehow in front of me, and I'm doing all the work. Alright, ready? Jump. Okay, we gotta wait for this boulder. Wait for the boulder. There we go, and hold up. That was kind of a tough jump because you have to let go of the pogo button when you reach the chain. Alright, so here's the hidden wall up here. Yay, a number of chests. Seems like there's way more money, way, way much more money in this level than there was in uh, the moon stage. Didn't seem like there was much money on that level. Alright, head to the right. Ooh, another card section. It's probably gonna be the hardest one in the game. Jump. Uh, let's see how hard this is gonna get. I have a feeling they're gonna throw something crazy at me. I have a feeling. Nope. Nothing bad. <laughs> He's in the background again. Look at this. I'm gonna win! Oh, wait. What am I supposed to do? Do I just jump off the edge and hope something's gonna come up? Okay. Oh, 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 I mean, there's something down there, but I'm not even gonna risk it. It's not worth dying over some money. It doesn't even matter. All right, let's keep going. Woo! Oh, I wanted the second one. Crap. Well, that's all right, just keep on going. All right, good, made it, made it, made it, made it. Ice cream, yum. All right, let's see what's up this chain. Oh, chests. The only way to fly. All right, let's head this way. Oh, the, oh, this shit again. Well, luckily I have more than three hearts, so I, I'm not gonna have too much trouble. Oh, now they have ghosts in the mix. Oh boy, can I kill it? Still don't think I can. I have no clue how to get some of those chests. I swear it's a trap. Oh god. Oh god! Oh fuck! I think that's gonna be the, the gayest jump of the whole game. And you know what? I really hope I don't seriously die like three more times in that that section because I I just I knew there was gonna be some jump that was gonna get me. I didn't know where and when it was going to happen, but I knew there was going to be one. Okay, I just made it. Oh, God, are you kidding me with this? Okay, good, I can go up here. I'm going to laugh so hard at Mrs. Beakley's on this stage. I really would like one of her lives right now. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. That was actually a really hard jump. Oh, what is this? What, am I on stage now? Uh, it took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Gold bricks in your caboose. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush. Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So. Okay. I'm kind of scared to fight this last boss, because I've heard some evil things about it on IGN. <clears throat> I've read about it on IGN. I heard it's extremely hard. Not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now, let the boys... What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey. <laughs> you too. You've been in cahoots from the beginning. No, even before beginning. Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? Was me in disguise, you fool. Why, you... Why, you little duck bastard? Five dollars of painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me. And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spells. Uh-oh. The fusion of all the jewels. Don't waste them on my death. Now release the lads. Oh, boo-hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old men. Buyer's remorse. Better to stick with master plan. It's much more exciting. I now summon Dracula the... Uh-oh. Oh no. Behold. I feel like there's a boss after this boss, so I really better not die on this one, because I'm going to need a life just to mess around and figure out the patterns on the second one. If you get a game over, they probably just start you at the beginning of this stage, so I wouldn't have too much to backtrack through. I doubt it's just like, game over, start again. That's the old days. These days of health regeneration and continues, there's really not much challenge. Okay, uh, I guess I gotta bounce on one of his bats. Oh man, did I really miss, or, or was the hitbox just really bad on that? Let me, let me check. 
I, 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 I might be missing, but I can't tell. Let me try, let me really pay attention. Oh, I just can't land on his damn bats. I guess I'm just kind of assuming that's what I'm supposed to do. Let me just try to see if I can land that on over. Oh, I just can't make it. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's just near impossible to land on the damn bat. I will have my victory. Oh, now what? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Whoa, this is like Galaga. Except I'm supposed to be avoiding them instead of shooting them. Okay, let's get over here. Well, this is really trippy. Oh, God. I guess I don't have to duck. I just got to be in the crack. Standing in the middle is my best chance. Okay, as soon as they retract the middle. Okay. All right, that wasn't too bad. It's just, honestly, something as simple as this is just really hard. Just landing on the damn bat. It just moves in such erratic patterns. It's not even like, okay, it goes from left to right. It just kind of goes all over the place. It almost like pulsates back and forth at a, at a weird pace. But I'm getting it. I'm getting the hang of it. Hitting it a little bit more frequently. Okay, th this is a green one. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away with the fire. This giant dragon from hell is... Okay. I'll try to land on this bat. There we go. That was a good hit. I just took so much damage at the beginning, failing to land on the bat. I didn't even find out any of his moves yet. Okay, this is the bat one. This one's not bad. Oh, I thought I was right in the center of it. That wasn't fair. All right, let's try again. See, that time I thought I got clipped on the, I was about to get clipped on the left. That time the game just felt bad. I was like, yeah, we fucked you over in the last one. Give you a break. All right, make sure you stand in the middle. Stand in the middle. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm never going to make it. Okay, I guess they factor in what, what angles they're on, so they give you some time. Okay, now we get to go land on this really weird bat again. Try it. Oh, shit, balls. Oh, this is so hard. Okay. Uh, I told, you know what, if I miss, I'm not even going to go for it again. I'm going to take one controlled swing, and if I miss, I'm just not going to keep going after it. That's the best method I have. If it's that damn dragon again, I feel like I'm going to get screwed. If it's green, okay, this time it's orange. What the shit? What? What the hell, man? Oh, my God. Right, this is my last life. That was, that was really, really hard. And that time the damn pogo stick didn't work again. This game, I swear, they, they really, they needed to tweak the buttons. Like, something was broken about this game's pogo stick. Like, it just doesn't always work. Okay, I just need to know the colors. Red is the bats. Alright, go over here. I totally just got ripped off of a hit. Go over here, and we're good. Um, where are we going, where are we going, where are we going? There. Uh, this, games like this really test your reaction time. I mean, I've said throughout this whole Let's Play, it isn't really that challenging of a platformer, but it's got its hard parts. Like, this boss is actually kind of hard. Right, let's land on the bat. Okay, if I miss, just whatever. I'm not going to chase after it. It'll only get me hit more. I just got to really watch it. There you go. I'm doing good, doing good. It just sucks. Between every hit, you need to do some serious dodging work. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. All right, so I need to just stay away from the beak, period. Okay, just go on the other side of the screen. Dodge it. Go on the right side. Right side. Right side. Stab. Left side. Left side. There we go. Are we done? Alright. That one wasn't bad once you figure it out. Luckily, I figured out most of his moves. Man, it is... I can't even describe how difficult it is to land on this bat. Like, it does... It's just the detection is really, really skim. Or small, whatever I'm trying to say. You're not really thinking. I'm just trying to dodge things like fireballs from hell. Okay, good. That one fireball, like the fire went away before I had to dodge it. Okay, that was good. Good dodging work. Right, make sure you land on the bat, Tom. Land on the bat. There we go. Take that Dracula duck. Alright, this is, this is the orange one. I don't know what to do when he's in the middle. Okay, I guess just go to the opposite side of the screen. There we go. Now go all the way to the left. There we go. All the way at the left. Oh, no! Oh, my God. I I totally reacted on the spot there. I didn't even know that that was possible. Like, I just ducked out of reaction. Oh, shit. There you go. Wow, that is insanely challenging. Now you need to land on two bats. And they're not normal bats. Okay, uh, which way are we going? Left. All right, we're doing really good on health right now. We just need to keep watching. Um, I'd be really impressed if I get through this on the... 
on this try here, because I'm actually out of lives, so I can't screw up again. But I only lost two hearts, and I picked up every heart container in the game, so we're going to really need to use them. And that was a total waste of my health. That was really disappointing. I really needed all my hearts to land on these damn bats. It's funny, too. They don't even attack you. It's just really hard to get on them. Okay, that was good. That was good. What color is this now? Okay, this is the dragon. Luckily, the the uh, parts don't actually seem to change at all. It's really just a matter of memorizing the colors and knowing what kind of it moves like of evasion to use. Okay, here we go. He's kind of blending in with my, my shit. All right, did I kill him? I'm not convinced I win. I want to make sure I win before I get excited. Anytime, kids. No, I feel like we should get out of here before we blow up or get scrunched and rocks and rubble. Magic and Glumgo still have my number one dime, and I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. Now, give me dimes. Not till you give me those treasures. <laughs> I want to be filthy, stinking rich. Hell, you're not going to be too rich if you're dead. Filthy, stinking rich. But not as rich as that chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? No more horseplay. I need that dime. Oh, no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let go, you fool. Not till I get that treasure. Okay, yeah, this definitely is not over. Oh, man. I, I had a feeling. I knew this wasn't going to be over. That really sucks, because I'm not sure what to expect here. I think I'm going to switch over to the D-pad. Oh, God. Alright, go up here. Can I make this jump? I'm not really sure how to make this jump. Just let's not pogo up. I'm really nervous, because I'm not sure if you fail, like, immediately. If they get up too high ahead of you. Alright, I win. Does that mean I win? Do I win now, game? Do I win now, game? Okay. Oh, fuck. I guess I don't win yet. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do some crazy platforming. Oh, God. Alright, land on all the chains. I'm, I, there's no room for error. There's no room for error at all. All these chains are coming down. And I'm nervous as shit. I'm nervous as shit. Okay. Go. I'm using the D-pad, and I'm not sure how much I trust this D-pad. Go, go. Did I make it? Oh, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn. Jump! Oh my god, I made it. Oh, man. I almost had a heart attack there. That was really, really nerve-wracking. Oh man, that was hard. It's okay, kids. This entire game wasn't made to collect treasure. Seriously, she helped me out in every stage. Miss Beakley was awesome. Indeed they did, lads. Now come on, let's head for home. Oh man, we're safe. Saving content. Please don't turn off your console. That was a really fun game. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, it was pretty short. Honestly, you can finish that in one sitting, no problem. Scrooge remains the richest duck in the world. <laughs> it was real swell of you to give Glamgold the lift home, Mr. McGee. <laughs> All our friends are here, and we get to watch them go to jail. That's great. Uh, I'll put it on your bill, Flinton. You can pay me back in, oh, say, three to five years. <laughs> With interest, of course. I'll get you for this, McDuck. Mark my words. <sighs> now, there's a sight I never got tired of. Come on, lads. Let's head to the ice cream shop. Wow. Wow. 
That ice cream sounds great right now. I wish I had some. Can we each get our own cone this time after Scrooge? No, why not? I'm in a generous mood today. I can't really... I, I gotta laugh because I'm pretty cheap like that. I see what you did there. Oh, Scrooge. I'm too much like you. And the credits. Man, that was a really fun game. Thanks for watching, guys. That was my first blind let's play of anything, really. And I gotta say, it was really fun. It was an enjoyable game. I like let's playing games that are short like that. It's just totally painless. You can do a level here and there, and it didn't really take that many videos at all to complete. Now, let's see what happens if I hit buttons, because I never watch credits of games. It's kind of a bad habit, considering usually you can um, see little post-credit sequences in both films and games. I guess I can't really skip it. That's okay. We can watch some credits for just a minute or so. Yeah, that was a good last stage. I don't know how they added that in. I almost wonder how the NES version ended. Like, was there no fire stage at all? Did it just end in that one room? But then again, there wasn't a hub world in the NES level uh, game, so I'm not sure how they did that. I'll have to look up a Let's Play for it to find out the answer to that question. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to Let's Play next. I was actually going to run through that new Ninja Turtles game that was going to come on the Xbox Live Summer Arcade, and that's actually next week that's coming out. Um, then I sort of saw some gameplay of it, and I'm like, oh, this doesn't really look like Ninja Turtles. And uh, every turtle kind of looks like they have Down Syndrome, so it's, it's just, they don't look right. It's really weird. Um, and they almost added too much to it to make it, like, there's, like, stealth and stuff, and I'm like, this doesn't look like Ninja Turtles at all. If anything, it's more of a button masher, and that's what I've always liked about it, really. So, we'll see. I'm going to keep putting up multiplayer videos of uh, Halo and Call of Duty. And uh, we'll see what comes up next. And I'll make another video for a collectible unlocking, maybe. Um, just and I'll, Maybe I'll put another recording up if something happens after the credits, but I'm not sure how long they're going to run. I don't want to risk the fact that these credits are going to last for like 15 minutes. Well, let's see. I don't want to speak too soon here. Special thanks are usually towards the end of credits. Yeah, see, there's the uh, the software they use or, what, or whatever, so that's usually the end of it. So let's see what happens after the credits. I spoke too soon. We can survive another few seconds. President and Chief Operating Officer. Man, it'd be so cool to work for a game company. It's really hard, actually. You need a lot of previous experience in the, in the industry. You need to have games put out, whether it's for an indie developer or a high-scale developer. And, uh... You really need to have proof that you can do the job, whether it be through an audio demo or some sort of graphic design demo or just something like that. I have a lot of music that I could do if I went to try to go into audio design, go into audio design for gaming. And, uh, I don't know. I guess I feel like I need some real work experience before I could truly get into that. But that would be a lot of fun. What better way to carry out an everyday job than to work for a game company? Even if it's something small like this, like an arcade game or a downloadable title, Gotta start somewhere, until you work your way up to the big bucks. Okay, I don't know why they're still going on with this. We already went through special thanks and the software. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, we totally forgot about the managers. Quality assurance. I always wondered what that means. Like, is that just game testing? Because I know there's always some jobs you can look for that literally just involve testing video games. And it's almost like a minimum wage job. <clears throat> but you test games. And hell, that's probably way more fun than bagging groceries. Check my phone here while I'm waiting. I think I have a text. Yes, I do. Director, public relations. A lot of these people have really interesting names. Kind of showing the artwork for every level. It's pretty sweet. I almost wonder if they seriously sat there and drew all that. Like, what's the point if it's a side-scroller? I guess they just do it for inspiration. Like, okay, this is what I want this level to kind of be edged towards. Oh, this is a snow one. This is... So got some mountains going on here. Obviously, it wasn't 3D, so I must wonder how they structured everything. Alright, that was the end of the song. So does that mean we're at the end of the credits? No, another song is starting. Oh, I just want to see what's after the damn credits. You can do it, DuckTales. Finish up these credits. I'm just really kind of anxious to find out if you 
lose all your money or if you start a new game if you can continue to unlock things in the collectible section it's only one way to find out they sure had a lot of people working on this game i know it's been in development for a while now oh that was the second section of the moon level there it just ended couldn't tell what that was at first i was like wait was that even in the game and I think that was the African Mines Underground, I think? I'm not sure. Enzyme Testing Labs? I wonder where that is. I want to be a lead tester. I want to test games. That'd be a lot of fun, actually. Just take some notes, talk about things that, I, I guess, to the crew that, you know, say, okay, this is off, this is off, I don't like this, this needs to be fixed. I've always wondered why betas aren't like that. Like, when they release betas for games, why don't they give the players the opportunity to leave some feedback and talk about what they like, what they don't like about it? Like, I recently got to play the Killzone Mercenary beta, and there's a bunch of things that I'd like to change about it. It's a really good game. It's coming out next month, but I think they need to tweak the controls a little bit so that uh, Triangle switches weapons. For some stupid reason, they made Triangle the melee button in that game, and that's just not a good idea. There's a bunch of things I'd like to say about it. So I went to uh, Google the game just to see if there's anything I can do to leave feedback, and there really wasn't anything. And I'm like, what's the point of a beta if the fucking, fucking players can't even leave feedback? I guess it's really just for statistical data, like to find what people, what weapons people use, uh, what, how, they, how they play, how many deaths, average KD, things like that. Of course, I'm not sure how that would help with the actual development of the game and how you would make it better with those kinds of st statistics. I think that's more informative when you use statistics like that. Senior Analyst. Well, I have been going into the analytical field. I guess I can do some of those things, too. Might not be as fun as if you were hands-on making the game. Man, these are some long, long credits. And I'm still hitting buttons in vain. Trying to see if I could skip this, because we've gone through these backgrounds like four times already. And we're already at the end of the second song here. Featuring the voice talents. I wonder... Oh, I wish they showed who did, like, Scrooge and everything. It's just people that... I'm never gonna know who did his, act, his voice. That's annoying. Another special thanks. This is, like, the second special thanks. All music courtesy of the Walt Disney Music Group. And Disney's been around forever. I definitely miss the old movies like Lion King and Lady and the Tramp, Fox and the Hound. Such great movies. Maybe they are still good. I just I haven't really been paying attention to too many of the movies, obviously, because it's kind of out of my uh, out of my age group. And yes, you're welcome. Thank you for playing. You are very friggin' welcome. And thanks for making me sit through about 15, 20 minutes of credits. Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay, they spawn you right back here. All right, what can I do from the level select screen? Do they let you choose that final level? Oh, they do. Okay, so it it unlocks itself. What the hell is this? What's the money bin? Do you want to travel to Money Bin? Okay. Let's see what that is. I essentially thought that was just that safe in the background, but now I can travel to it. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was just the initial level. That was the first level of the game, like the prologue level. Oh, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. So let's go back to... The hub world here. It's kind of weird. Like, where are all the ducks? Where is everybody? All right, let's see here. Let's unlock a, a few little pieces of art before we end this video. Let's see what I want to do. I, I can't unlock concept art until we unlock more of this. Let's see what she looks like. <laughs> Her butt looks really pointy on the old version. Actually, even in the new version, it does. All right, let's see. Let's, let's do the second row, too. <laughs> he looked so unhappy in the old version. He looked, like, miserable. And this, and this one, they really made him look super happy. Let's check this one. Oh, man, launch pad. Actually, that's not launch pad. That's that, like, the guy with the gum. It's like the scientist duck. This is Beakley. And the butler. <laughs> she even gave cake in the other game. That's awesome. Let's finish up this, this row here. And the infamous dogs. Oh, man, he looks scary on the old version. <clears throat> Let's try this one. I saw the one already. Up here, I'm meant to do... Hmm. 
Some cool art. I wonder how much... I think I have to buy everything to unlock this stuff. Well, tons of money to spend. Tons of money. That's all I'll do for now. Thank you for watching this uh, Let's Play, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm, I'm surprised if you're even watching this, you managed to suffer through the credits or you just skipped, a bit, skipped through the video. Regardless, I am really happy you guys stuck around till the end. I wasn't sure how this was going to go because it is a blind Let's Play. And uh, luckily, I thought it, was, it went pretty smoothly. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll be Let's Playing next. I'll keep you guys informed. But I'll obviously keep up updating my channel with new videos weekly, mostly a couple videos every few days, just like I've been doing. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon in a future video.